Hey everyone, it's Reverend Dr. Katie, and I am here with Denise. And hey, Denise. Hello. Hey. And Denise is a recent recent graduate of the Awakening and Transformation Program, and she just did so many amazing things. So I wanted everyone to have the opportunity to hear directly from her about the way her life is going and how this how the program assisted her in her life journey. So Denise, tell us a little bit about like what what were the problems you were having? Like why did you reach out and why did you think that this may be for you to be in the first place? Well, um, my daughter is metaphys more metaphysical than anything else. And I wanted to, decided I wanted to learn more about it, but I felt like I could because I found the large group metaphysical Christian which meant there had to be some kind of connection that I didn't think was there. So awesome. So before, so you've been a Christian for your adult life. Yes. For your adult life. And then the connection with metaphysics felt a little, how Thank did you. that feel before? Kind of, kind of not right. Kind of like this, this is out in third, out in outer space somewhere, doesn't belong here. Mm -hmm. Inside my heart. Right. And so then you started in the group, you started exploring a little bit, and mm -hmm. how did that feel when you started to be able to do that? That was interesting. It was, I had already known about chakras because of yoga, um, and we, just the idea of learning that, yes, Jesus did heal mm -hmm. with energy, and that means it was a metaphysical healing. Mm -hmm. so this is okay. Cool. So that kind of opened up the... It opened up everything for me. Cool. And so have you been able then to talk to your daughter about this kind of stuff too? Whoops. Yes, I have. <laughs> I have been able to talk to my daughter about this stuff. Um, I got myself a set of angel tarot cards mm -hmm. and I was able to go to her and say, okay, now what do I do with these? Oh, nice. How does this work? And um, so it was really, it was really cool because she had never seen Oracle cards. So I was able oh, nice. to give her the book and say, here's, a, here the, here's the book that what, so you'll understand more about that. Well, I love it that the two of you are able to share. Yes. You know, share and there's something in common and do that in really fun ways, it sounds like now. Lots of fun. That is really cool. And so... You came to this program and to our big group. What stopped you from doing that before? What stopped me was the metaphysics is a, it's, it's evil, it's wrong. It doesn't have anything to do with Christianity and it shouldn't be in my heart anywhere. But when I saw the big group metaphysical Christian, you mean they do go together? Nice. So do you feel some peace and empowerment about that now? A lot of, a lot more peace. A lot more peace. More, more willing to talk about it. Lovely. And so well, tell us some of the concrete things that you came away with that, you know, something you use in your everyday life. And because you had like some really specific things happen. And so let's, let's talk about that. <laughs> a lot of things happen. Yeah. One thing that was really cool was my daughter, Amanda, had a job interview that she was really nervous about. And before we went into the interview, I was able to, to heal and clear her throat and heart chakras, like we learned in the class. Mm -hmm. So that, and she said she felt like, wow. <laughs> when yeah, it was that's done. amazing. Um, so that was, that was awesome to be able to to do something like that in such a concrete way for her, where before it would have been, oh, honey, I don't know what I can do for you. Right, yeah, here's some, here's some chocolate milk. Yeah, you know, here's a piece of chocolate. We'll go get an ice cream cone when you're done. You can right. do this. Well, here's something a little more concrete I can do for my daughters. Um, and so, yeah, so Denise became known as this, like, chakra <laughs> intuitive person, and she uh, is developing that more and more and more. And so yeah. I have a feeling you're on the verge of starting to teach other people how to do that because people have been asking you just like we thought that they would. Yeah, well, I um, had a massage and she mentioned she was just getting into chakras because we were talking about yoga. And I told her that I had started, um, had just learned that I was a, a chakra healer 
And she was really interested in that. So um, it'll be interesting to see where that goes. I'll be seeing her in about five weeks. Nice. So <laughs> yes, lesson two. Lesson two will happen in five weeks for her. So. <laughs> uh, and that's one of the things I love about the community that we form. Like we we learn, but then we take that outward into the world, and we know that the world needs healing, and we become agents at a greater impact. Yes. That. So one of the things, too, that we um, do in the program is really explore life purpose. Like, what are we here? What are we here for? What is it that we're to be accomplishing? And we can do that in so many different ways. And some people come in, like, not knowing, like, no clue, how do I even talk about my life purpose? But I think you had some good ideas about that. So can you just tell us about what happened and how those got confirmed? Okay, two and a half years ago, I got to meet a founder of the company I'm actually working for with now called Trades of Hope. And I got to meet her. And as I'm sitting here listening, I'm hearing in the back of my head, this is home. This is where you belong. You need to be doing this. And I couldn't afford to do it right then and there. And I spent the next six months fighting with God. Well, I've done this, I've done that. I've done this, I've done that, none of it ever worked. I don't want to do direct sales again. I've done it before, leave me alone. And I finally looked up and said, God, leave me alone. I don't have the money. Mm -hmm. Never tell that man to leave you alone. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that the hard way that day right. because I was doing our taxes and we got a very large refund from the federal government that year. And it was like a two by four to the back of my head. I told you to do this. So I went to my husband and said, oh my God, what do I do? And he said, you better do it. And I said, Obviously, yes. yes. <laughs> That's yes, a nice yes. husband too. That's so he didn't question it at all. So I signed up on my older daughter's birthday. So I would never forget when my anniversary was with the company. Um, and it's a mission to empower women out of poverty through giving them legitimate work. Mm -hmm. um, I found out that women make on average around the world $2 a day. And our mission is to raise that. Yes, I love that. $2 a day. Um, but it's through the things that they make that we are able to let them feed their family, send their daughters to school, which can be difficult in lots of other countries. Yep. Um, have a roof over their heads. Give them medical attention. All so you knew that your part of your mission was to be involved in this kind of world. Yes, I I right. knew that that was this is this company is where I belong. Yeah, yeah. And um, we did a couple of of exercises in the the class that um, really confirmed that for me. So can it, is it okay if I'm even more specific about that? Go for it. Okay. So <laughs> when Denise and I were having, we were having a one-on-one because -on -one, personal coaching comes with the program, right? So we, you get three, three minimum one-on-one -on -one sessions, more people are in crisis. And um, so during one of those, I think it was during one of those, Denise and I are on the, um, just, just the two of us talking. And I started to receive messages on for her that came through me to her. I don't know, it lasted about a minute or so, like these kind yes. of messages, like angelic messages. And uh, I think we were both a little, a little surprised that that happened. But did that yeah. play a part in having some of your confirmation about life purpose? Yes, it did. Um, what also helped was the guardian angels mm. and seeing my dad's mother as one of my guardian angels mm -hmm. because this is something that would be near and dear to her heart oh, oh i love that so to 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 know that i'm involved with something that she would appreciate as much as i believe she would um was awesome yeah. Oh, totally. And it sounds like your perspective on abundance has also shifted since that day, you know, two and a half years ago, two or three years ago. Definitely. It's, yeah. um, I learned through another class and it was reaffirmed through this, that the more I do with Trades of Hope, the more women I'm helping around the world. So I'm not afraid to say, yeah, I made $500 last month mm -hmm. or I'm not afraid to say 
you need to do this. Yes, my bags are a little more expensive than Walmart and Target, yes, it should be. Yes. But they're handmade and they're fair trade made. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the quality of what you're getting is going to be so much more than you'll get from these big box stores. And so I love that I love that perspective on abundance and that we're um, we don't want to be on top of the mountain alone. No. How many women can I drag with me? Yeah, yeah. We want to bring everyone else drag. off with us. Yeah. <laughs> We need a little dragging and then voluntary hiking after that. Yes. <laughs> oh, so I love all that. And I love that this helped bring about some of that confirmation and still propel you forward. Yes. So that's beautiful. And so what, one of the other things I'm really aware of for you is that during the program, there's like, there's stuff happening in your life and your extended family and friends life and in your personal life. Yes. I'm wondering if you mind giving us a little insight into what one that was, you know, these programs becoming, becoming aware and awakened and transformed. Does it stop life from happening? Yes. It lets us deal with life and yeah. interact with life. Yeah. So if you don't mind just telling us a little bit about some of what was going on with you, because it was just a lot that was happening. A lot. My girlfriend's um, mother, they found out she had terminal cancer and I pulled an angel card for her. And the card was time to let go. Mm. And I immediately contacted her and said, okay, here we go. You need to give your mom the dignity mm -hmm. to let go. It's okay. So I was able to be more of a support to her. And she's a very dear friend. Mm -hmm. And then Father's Day weekend, that Friday before this last Father's Day, um, I started having chest pains. And I, I did what I normally do and get something to eat, do this, do that. And I, then I thought, well, I wonder if something's going on with her mom. Because I'm close to her. So I called her. And she's not answering her phone. And it wasn't unusual for her to not answer her phone at that time. But then I started with the cord cutting. And, and as Linda says, she pulls the cord out of her. So we're pulling the cord and pulling the cord. And my heart, I'm still, and it turns out I had a heart attack that weekend. Right. So it was, a, it was yeah, it was a crazy weekend. Mm -hmm. But to be able to, <coughs> to rule out that anything was happening with her mm -hmm. was cool. It was very wonderful. And uh, Denise posted in our small group because the program has a small group. She's like, I'm in the hospital. And so we, you know. I had so much healing coming. Yeah, from we were able to send you it was healing. so energy. awesome. Uh, and I even I was posting, you know, I was like, okay, everyone on Sunday at a certain time, let's all make sure we're, we're sending energy to Denise at that time, uh, which is really special, I thought, for us to be able to do. It's very special. We've all, I think we've all come on to the small group and said, okay, this is what's going on. I need help. Send healing. Yeah. Like, yeah. I know I've seen that in the large group, but not as many, I think proportionally, definitely not as many people know exactly how to heal right. certain parts. So to have, to say, you know, my heart's heavy. I'm having to speak and I hate speaking. Mm -hmm. And to have people pray and, and heal that area is just absolutely wonderful. And how's your heart doing now? My heart's perfect. My perfect. been set free. Yes, good. <laughs> I've been set free for a year. He said, because we did it once, we got to keep seeing you. Yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, and actually, I think that's a great point for us to bring up, because I want to be really clear with anyone watching this that um, I'm not the kind of, I'm not the kind of uh, spiritual coach who will say, no, you should never see a doctor again. I'm a big believer and using all the tools available to us, right? Metaphysical tools and like traditional Western tools and using our discernment. Yes. So it's not like when Denise was in the hospital, we're brought, like we were like, well, you should check out of the hospital. No. <laughs> that wasn't going to happen. So. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a, lot, there's a lot of people who do. For oh, sure. Right? So I'm just not one of them. Peace, peace to everyone. Peace to everyone. But I'm not one of them. Um, so do you feel like you can go to your Lutheran church on a Sunday and take all of this with you kind of conflict free? Yes. Um, and I think what 
what did it for me was when you told us that, well, how do you think Jesus healed? Mm -hmm. He healed with energy. All we're doing is using energy. Mm -hmm. It's energy that's already inside us from the Holy Spirit. And yes. Awesome. So at that point, it was like, okay, this is, this is safe. Yeah, good. And I'm not going to push my metaphysical beliefs on someone else. Right. I'm not that kind of person. No, we're not about that. But if someone asks me, I have the perfect response of, mm -hmm. well, how did Jesus heal? Mm -hmm. And don't we all have the Holy Spirit in us? Right. So to make them think without it before they attack. Mm -hmm. And I think that is the best contribution to the world mm. as far as that goes that I can give. Oh, I love that. It's one contribution. I love, yeah, it might, it might be the best, but that best is going to be expressed in so many ways. Sure. I think, I think it's the best. It may end up being one of many. Yeah. Definitely. yeah. No, I love it. I feel like it's the best. Oh, I love that. So no fear about moving forward? None. Absolutely none. Perfect. What do you think is in your future for the next year? The next year. Oh, geez, Katie. We can do one month. Next month. <laughs> <laughs> I have lots of plans for the next year. Um, I am working on a contest with the company. I am going to be starting to sing with the church choir here in the next month. So they're all coming back from wherever they're at and they'll start church choir again. We found a church. That's great. We found a church. So I'll be going to my church choir. But again, I love to sing. Um, and I'll be using my, my skills as needed mm -hmm. with whomever needs it and wherever I'm called to use it. Oh, I love it. Yeah. That couldn't ask for anything more. It's cool. what we want to do. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Thank you for sharing your story. Thank you. Thank you. You've been an awesome mentor, and I'm so glad I'm not going to be losing track of you. No, no, no. Once you're in this program, you know me for life, so that's <laughs> the way it should be. <laughs>